Good morning, folks. If you missed the big story that developed yesterday, a damaging earthquake has struck Italy again. We'll get to that in a moment, but first, let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the satellite once more had the jitters. This seems to happen inordinately when a CME erupts on the limb like it did yesterday, but alas, HelioViewer stabilizes, and the major coronal hole is really the only thing to see. Solar flaring remains very low, only sunspots are on their way out, but solar wind is another story. I've got Discover and Ace here side by side at spaceweathernews.com. Another super speed spike overnight registered on Discover. It is not on ACE, but then again, nothing is on ACE during those times, so we wouldn't know anyway. It is worth noting that conference speaker Eugene Bagashoff says stereo telemetry doesn't show it either. Either way, we're in reverberation land, peak of the storm on the 25th, and then the decreasing storm condition. What followed yesterday is a reverberation storm rather than another separate event. Solar wind should remain intense for a while as it's still streaming from earth-facing portions of the coronal hole. Back to quakes. First off, after the news posted yesterday, the Tongan event was upgraded to 6.1, directly hit the watch zone about 12 hours after the storm began decreasing strength from KP7. However, the big news of the day was in Italy, where two tremors shook the region and caused some significant damage to very old and historical towns. In the same vein as always, but with a new chart, the rate of electron flow over Europe was asinine for the day preceding the earthquake, so with our knowledge of how the global electric circuit current moves, let's see a spread high pressure downward scenario the day before, but as pressure intensifies to the north, return currents likely begin shifting south with a lower pressure and lightning storms. The quake struck as the energy switched directions in the Mediterranean. We also had a strong volcanic event as Nevado del Ruiz sends ash more than 20,000 feet high. Just north of that in Medellin, the highway to Bogota has been buried by a landslide. Absolutely brutal images there. Lastly, with the heliosphere, Earth spots bring another run above magnitude 4 to California. Another system is swinging in there today. It's worth noting that the most powerful geomagnetic storm in months, perhaps of the whole year, peaked exactly when Hurricane Seymour became the strongest East Pacific cyclone of the season, and it began rapidly weakening as the solar storm did. Little fruit of the gatherer from yesterday, another paper suggesting solar forcing can predict hurricane activity. The evidence pile is becoming a mountain. To see the mountain, go to earthchanges.org, specifically the video in the bottom left, and of course, everything we do starts at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.